Getting set for baseball now on a Thursday night from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Tonight, the homestand continues with the start of a four-game series between the Tampa Bay Rays and the New York Yankees. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Sonny Gray will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, in this day and age where we're all into numbers and statistics, look at this whip, 1.10 or less. He has a sub 1.1. That's not an easy thing to do, especially in today's game where we see teams scoring a lot of runs. He doesn't walk very many guys, and he doesn't give up that many hits either. This is a real good pitcher and should be fun to watch pitch in this one. First pitch of the ball game misses here, and that's how we begin this four-game weekend set. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've had it going the last 10 games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, no excuses anymore. April, May go by. You kind of cut your teeth, try and find clubhouse chemistry, execute on the field. We're in June now. This is a good harbinger of what's to come, and this team's playing well. Expect them to be in the race for a while. And here's the starting lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, Matt, I think the guy to watch is Matt Duffy, the Duff man. He can fly. I just love watching him on the bases. And this year, he's leading the team in stolen bases and a run scored. He uses his wheels to get into scoring position. Then he flies home when the guys behind him put the ball in play. Simple as that. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a curveball that time that broke too low. And not a bad night for baseball and even 70 degrees here at game time. Yeah. A high fastball is in there. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, Matt Duffy. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. Duffy. Often known as the Duff Man in baseball circles, he was taken in the 18th round during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Chop weakly to the left. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Tampa Bay nothing. Yankees coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Nate Valdi will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you take a look at this guy's ERA. Any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball. 
when we have all these high-scoring, high-flying affairs. This guy knows how to pitch. He knows how to control the running game. And most importantly, he's not afraid to throw strikes. We'll see how he does in this one. Here's Brett Gardner now. He'll lead things Better off here Gardner. in the bottom half of the first. Gardner. First pitch coming. Here it is. And that one just missed outside. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. All right, Matty, they show up for game one of this road trip. They have to find a way to play a little bit better baseball. Coming off a recent homestand where they were only able to squeak out three wins, but at the end of the day, the way this team's been playing, three wins is a significant positive. So let's see how game one of this road trip treats them. Sent on the ground out to second. To his right, Ojeda. And that's out number one. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? Well, Matt, Jacoby Ellsbury is really fueling that offense right now. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. Here's Neil Walker. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Left side, but well foul. One out, nobody on. Counts even at one and one to Walker. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Popped up. Evaldi has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. Having third, right fielder, Aaron. Here's big Aaron Judd. He's, of course, a long ball threat, currently third in the American League in that category. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sliders in for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming in, and then it just drops off the table. You can get a lot of swinging strikes with that. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. hit the other way out toward right field. Fisher will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Second inning upcoming here in the Bronx with no score. Stepping up now C.J. Crone and he's swinging a pretty hot bat coming in. Hits in each of his last seven games. C.J. Crone. First pitch on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Gray ready with the 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. One and two.
now here's the pitch. Mine to the right side. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Batting red, the catcher number 40, Wilson Ramos. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Career numbers against Sonny Gray. He's gone three for 11. He's taken him deep once. First offering on its way. Ball one. You got to love that as a hitter right there. It doesn't happen much, but when it does, you have to find a way to take advantage of the count. Two balls and no strikes to Ramos. I can't tell you how big a pitch that is right there to be called the ball. 2-0 as an offensive player, man, it's almost 70% fastball. 1-1, he opens up the entire arsenal to get you out. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. 2-1. and one. You know, Matty, I'll never understand this. You work so hard throughout the course of the season and course of this game to get in 1-0, 2-0, 3-1 counts. Guarantee yourself a fastball 80 to 90% of the time, and he takes it. Just can't understand the methodology there. And he got him. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. Now let's focus on Giancarlo Stanton right now. Looks like he's chiseled out of stone out there. The outfielder, I know he has light tower power, but he's also helpful on the defensive side and possesses a strong arm in the outfield. Into the box now, Johnny Field. It was an 0-for-4 day for him in yesterday's loss. He's set and the pitch. He swings and misses. Throw down. Tag from Walker's there, and he's out at second base. Not every catcher can make that throw, so that was pretty special. Benito Santiago made throwing from his knees famous when he was playing, but it's a really tough one to pull off. That's a long throw without any legs underneath you, so hats off to him on that one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Nope. And a curveball that started low and broke lower, ball one. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one-two. Misses for the second ball. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for Tampa. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Giancarlo Stanton now having a very nice Leader year, currently Andy. second in the American Seven League in fielder. batting average entering play. Giancarlo Stanton. Here comes the first pitch. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. for that low inside corner but he missed with it one and two boy that's a tough pitch to lay off right there just out of the strike zone but listen 
when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so-called pitcher's pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Okay, here's how the race set up on defense today. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Stepping in, Gary Sanchez. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. First pitch on its way. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up. Ball two. Man, he certainly got him protecting the plate right there. He almost got him to go around on that slider right there. I would not be surprised if he goes fishing a little bit further outside. Here's a drive out toward left center field. He's around first, heading for two. The relay. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Heading center, the shortstop. Ready now, Didi Gregorius. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Ball and a strike. One and one. Sanchez leads off second with one gun in the inning. The so one two. He swung on and missed strike three. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks a little bit too much. Comes all the way across the plate and nicks the batter. Here's Miguel Andohar now. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Now the 1 0. His fastball that misses. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. <laughs> Hitting guys back to back? Umpires don't have much patience for that kind of thing. Whether it's intentional or not, 
and neither does the team that's getting plunked. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. Owen won the count. Certainly a big moment in this game. Bases loaded, tie score. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Boy, in a perfect spot for the splitter there. It's 0-2. Strikes him out, so a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Striding forward now is the DH. Joey Wendell, 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a strike. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, guys, that's an excellent job right there. That's a back foot slider. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. At the plate, Rob Refsnyder. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's set. Here it comes. Takes a high fastball for a strike. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sinking fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And that's under his glove. Oh, he picked his head up, and it's into right field. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. It's so important, Mark, to start to make quality pitches. And if you don't, this is what can happen. Two batters, two base hits, first and third, nobody out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in from third. You can't worry about creating a monster inning. Do your job. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. And their runners at the corners now. Much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. Grounded up the first baseline. To second for one. Back to first. So they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. How about it? It certainly looked like they might have had a big inning cooking there with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. Into the box now, Carlos Ojeda. And she'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 
two out, nobody on. Behind 0-2 now. Line toward center field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. I know this pitcher's trying to keep his pitch count down, but that's ridiculous right there. Pitch right down the middle. He's lucky he's getting this ball back. Stepping in now, number one. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Oh, one pitch on its way. And that one right down Main Street. That's back-to-back -back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0-2, let's see if he can battle back in this A-B. Ojeda leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Hit to first. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's one run on three hits, no errors, and one man left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Rays one and the Yankees nothing. Settling in now, Brett Gardner. Leading he got on top of one and was a ground out victim Gilder. last time. Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. Popped him up. And there's out number one. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Digging in now for the Yankees, Neil Walker, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two is in there. A called strike three. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. Digging in for his second at bat, Aaron Judge. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. And, and he chased up and out of the zone. A swing and a miss. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. It remains one nothing. So striding forward now, Matt Duffy. Oh, for one for him here in this one. Number five, Matt. Here's the first pitch to him. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Hey. 
big breaking ball and a beauty. One and two. Hey, I watched Tom Glavin master throwing change-ups inside to right-handed batters and getting them to pull it foul. If this guy can command that front hip curveball, he's going to go to it all game. Hard hit ball to second. Backhanded. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Opportunity now to take a look at some of the future players in the Yankee organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. Here's C.J. Crone now. One for one after a single this first time up. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. One run, four hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Behind 0-2 now. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in a wheelhouse, and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Still no balls and two strikes. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there. But if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down. Maybe even potential. A swing by Crone, and it's hammered out to left field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Up next to the Rays, Wilson Ramos looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit sharply on the ground. Walker's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays, but they hold a 1 0 lead. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirchen, and leading off the inning, the big right handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Zero. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. The bouncer to the left side. To his right, Ojeda. And there's one away. In now, Gary Sanchez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First delivery to him on the way. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Fisher looking up. And it's gone. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Number 21 for him on the season. And the Yankees have drawn even now at one apiece. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Here's Didi Gregorian. Yes, he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Gregorius carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. One out, nobody on. The 
wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Wow, that's a close pitch to take, but when you're a good hitter like this guy, to take that pitch on 0-2, you have to have a pretty good eye. Skied into very shallow right. Ojeda is there, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting by designated hitter. Jacoby Stepping in, Jacoby Ellsbury. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Now the pitch home to Ellsbury. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that'll get down for a base hit. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. No, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. Before the first pitch, a check at first. Runner back standing. Here's Miguel Andujar now as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Comes set and the 0-1. Oh, he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. The 1-2. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting, first baseman, Ray Bird. Digging in, Greg Bird. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. I'd be shocked if you saw anything else but a fastball right here. He's blown those first two by him. Don't give this guy a chance to speed up his bat with something off speed. Check the swing there, and Dave Lawrence says he held up just enough. Ball one. And a big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. We're through four. All even now at 1-1. Now at the plate, Johnny Field. He'll begin things here against Sonny Gray. Number 10. First delivery to him on the way. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Judge is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. Next, for Tampa Bay. next will be the designated hitter, Joey Wendell. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
And a breaking ball stays outside. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Curveball stays a little high that time. Zero. To two and two now. Hits are now even at four apiece. Hit back up the middle. And he'll throw against his body to first. Throw. Got him. And that's a gorgeous play. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Rob Refsnyder, a base hit in his first trip. First pitch of the at bat. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. Now the 1 0. -oh. Is taken, strike one. One run, four hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Big breaking ball, and a beauty that time, one and two. Smoke toward the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. The right field number 21. Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher the next to bat. First pitch on its way. Takes a knee-high fastball. Ref Snyder is off the of first with two away. That was definitely a two strike curveball there. The catcher turns his glove over and tries to make himself big to block it, but with no luck. The ball skips away and it scored a wild pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. One left for Tampa. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Digging in once again, Brett Gardner. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Didn't mess around much in that at-bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Gretz bench. Here's Neil Walker. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far.
into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. One and two, here it comes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Ref Snyder is in pursuit, but he can't get there. It's over his head. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much of the plate. Nice execution by the hitter. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. In the dirt. The throw will go to third. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. A 1 1. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone-cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. The 2-1 is a heater in there for a strike. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team to lead. The 2 2 pitch. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a run on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Giancarlo Stanton now as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Hits are even right now at five aside. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Now the two one fouled off. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. The three-two pitch. Now here's the check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting okay, anything close, hitting. so I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Ready once again, Gary Sanchez. He went deep last time up. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. No balls in one strike. 
According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Sanchez is working with a slugging percentage over 550. So there's no denying he's one of the premier power backs in the league. One and one. Runners at the corners, two men out. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Yeah, this guy's having a good day right there. You can tell he is all over. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff is going to have to find a way to attack him a little differently. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. Runners on first and third, two away. Got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Yanks strand a pair. We played five full, tied at one aside. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Carlos Ojeda. He singled his last time up. Ojeda. Pitch on the way. Popped him up. Gregorius is calling for it. One down. The batter, number one. Standing in, number one. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sharp slider that time. Just missed inside. Bases are empty, one man out. High pop up. Bird is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Up next for Tampa Bay. Third baseman. So Matt coming to the plate, Duffy. Matt Duffy. First pitch on its way. Sliders in for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone. And when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Liner toward right center. That gets down and the inning continues. I mean, that fires me up right there. Opposite field knock, and in today's game, where every manager is employing hundreds of shifts to watch this batter go the other way with special. Here's C.J. Crone now. He swings and rounds it to short, taken in by Gregorius. He'll go the short way to Walker at second for the force, and that ends the inning. Ray's strand just the one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Into the box now. Didi Gregorius. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. High in the air. Duffy in foul ground. And this will land foul. There's 
a swing and a high pop-up. Crone calls for it. Makes the play one away. The batter. Next for New York, Jacoby Ellsbury. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat. Now a ball popped up behind the plate for Ramos. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Third baseman. So stepping in, Miguel Andujar. Last time through was a base hit. First pitch of the at bat. A high fastball is in there. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. Two out, nobody on. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Score remains tied one to one. Back here in the Bronx, all square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. And guys, seventh Did inning you know, already. Man. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. High in the air out to center field. After it is Gardner. One out. Now, now at the plate, Johnny Field. 10. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a slider on the inside for strike one. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. The wind up and the 0 1. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Hard hit ball to second. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Set it back right where it came from. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Hey, guys, I think the pitcher was just trying to steal a strike right there. I do not think he expected to get ambushed on an oh, oh, get me over breaking ball. But that's exactly what happened. Former College World Series MVP Rob Refsnyder is next. And it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at-bat to watch. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Hey, when you're in a tough spot right there, that's an excellent job by the pitcher to get ahead 0-1. 
he has now got this offensive player on the defensive. The 0-1 on its way. Way in front of that fastball. Field over at second. Wendell is over at first with one away. And this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both in the scoring position. The one-two. Back up the middle and through into center field. A base hit. And both runners will score as they've taken the lead here at 3-1. to one. Boy, that's a huge base hit right there, Diego. We're getting late into this one, and that gives them the lead by two. Yeah, that could be a backbreaker right there. We'll see how this one ends up, but nice job to get that knock right there to drive in a pair. Into the box, Derek Fisher. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And a reaching effort, but this ball gets by him as he does a half gainer to try to flag it down. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now, so this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Standing in now, Carlos Ojeda. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Gray ready with the 0-1. Line toward right center. Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runner's breaking from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And it's a 4-1 to one game. Boy, this one looked no, like no. it was headed for Number extra one. bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley. But he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. In now, number one. As here's a strike from Gray to put him in the hole 0-1. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And this one gets away. Throw to the plate. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. What a bad time for a wild pitch as the run will score from third. Man, he's out there trying to throw strikes and give this guys a chance to come back and maybe win this thing but that wild pitch and the insurance run it allows to score certainly aren't helping matters in the slightest swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right judge there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning so they score four times on four hits no errors and no one left Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx. It's the Rays five and the Yankees one. At the plate, Greg Bird. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. 
See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot that time for Greg Bird. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And it's now a 5-2 game. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. If you put a fastball up in the zone, over the heart of the plate, this guy's going to turn it around in a heartbeat. This one was no shocker. Here's Brett Gardner now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the 1-0. Hit sharply on the ground. Ojeda is there on the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Second baseman, Neil Walker. Here's Neil Walker. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit well towards the hole. Ojeda from the outfield grass. And that's the second out. Now batting, right fielder, Aaron Judge. So digging in now, Aaron Judge. And he's over in this one, batting out of the three spot. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And even though he's had some success against this guy in the ball game, he still knows he's a very dangerous opponent. He won't want to fall behind him any further. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. -oh. That command may be starting to drift a bit. It's 2-0 -oh now. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great? Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. The bases are empty here with two men out. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. The Yankees answer right back on the solo home run. Seven complete here tonight. It's now five to two. So striding in, Matt Duffy. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Number five, Matt Duffy. First pitch of the at bat. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. One grounded to first. Bird fields it cleanly, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Next will be the cleanup hitter, C.J. Crone. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Shoots this one over to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The catcher, number four, Wilson Ramos. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Looking up is Gardner. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back.
So a solo shot here to left center field. Seven home runs for him on the year now as they open it up to six to two now. Yeah, and that home run is an absolute backbreaker. You still have some baseball left to play here, but with the four-run lead, it could be a non-save situation. So they might get the rest of their closer the rest of the day. Four runs feels awfully good. Into the box now, Johnny Field. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. Wind up and the 0 1. Now the big overhand curveball makes him swing and miss. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Swing and a liner. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Now batting, designated hitter, Joey Wendell. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Field, the runner at first with two gone. Hey. And a ball and a strike. Zero. In the dirt here. And a heads-up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. The one-two. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And Gardner there to make the catch. Inning over. Rays tack on one more thanks to the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Rays six and the Yankees two. Chaz Rowe is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 52, Chaz Rowe. Giancarlo Stanton now. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. From the stretch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. The 1-1 one, one home is swung on and missed for strike number two. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally going and this is maybe their best hitter so he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. Here now the two two. Hard liner to center field. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. He's through first and hustling for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. 
Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game, so if I'm going to keep this streak alive, I'm going to have to do it right now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Chopper left side of the infield. Duffy is up with it. A tag for one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just a one out. Here's Didi Gregorius. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that one just missed outside. And action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. Swung on and missed on a pitch at the thumbs, a ball and a strike. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. Popped him up. Fisher has a play. Two down. So the plate now is the designated hitter, Jacoby Ellsbury. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. Gone! Two-run shot for Jacoby Ellsbury. Home run number five on the year. And they cut the gap here. It's now six to four. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby team. A ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both lineups today. We were around the cage during batting practice. Both were super confident, and it's coming to fruition today. Sergio Romo enters the game in a save situation, but he'll be asked to get four outs here instead of the standard three. Now batting, third baseman. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Line drive to center field. Field is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. Ninth inning coming up from Yankee Stadium. It's now a 6-4 ball game. Adam Warren enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Striding into the box, Rob Refsnyder trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. First offering on its way. 
Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner is there, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Derek Fisher, who came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. First delivery to him on the way. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Set with the 0-1. Runs up and gets this one down. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of him at first. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Carlos Ojeda. Here comes the first pitch. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. The pitch. On a good curveball. Came back to catch the strike zone there, and it's 0-2. Bounce to first. Bird gloves it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're up six to four. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. First pitch coming. Here it is. Tough slider down low for a strike. The Yanks find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still d -row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball game. Pause and the 0 2. And here's a fastball on 0 2, but it misses 1 and 2 now. Ball two. Uh, just trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's 2 and 2. Two two, and he fouls this one off. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. So his day is fully over as you get a look at the pitching line for the Rays starter. He was on point from the get go this evening. So back to the top of the Yankee order, digging in, Brett Gardner struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Hit hard to the right side. And he'll take this on to first, and they're down to their final out, two away. Up next for the Yankees, second baseman. Neil Walker. Stepping up to the plate, Neil Walker. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth.
first offering on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Right to him. Throw on to first will be in time. And the Raid have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one. But he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four outs saved. Job well done. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. Tampa Bay put up four runs in the seventh to carry them to victory. Nate Valdi earns win number four on the season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Sonny Gray permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. Sergio Romo records four outs on his way to the save, his tenth. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ballgame tonight. For the victorious Ray, six runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For the Yankees, four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. The winning pitcher is Nate Evaldi. His record is now four and six. The same to Sergio Romo. He's dead. The loss goes to Sonny Gray. He falls to five and two. Time of the ball game, three hours and 16 minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium is 53,325. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely.